This summer we'll finally see the Tokyo Olympics take place after being cancelled last year, after you know what. Thankfully the pinnacle of amateur sport is back and I wanted to highlight 11 talented boxers you should look out for in this summer's Olympics. The boxers on this list are a mix of previous and up and coming amateurs that have really made a name for themselves so far. Number 1 Fraser Clark, Team GB Fraser Clark is one of the most successful British amateurs competing in the super heavyweight division. Having won 6 gold amateur titles across national, European and international tournaments, he is definitely one of the favourites going into this tournament. In 2016 he did not make the GB squad as he was overlooked by fellow super heavyweight Joe Joyce, who would go on to win silver. Having trained with many of the top heavyweights such as Anthony Joshua, Clark will want to prove a point in Tokyo to go one step further than the likes of Joyce. Number 2. Kishon Davis, Team USA Davis is currently a very highly rated up and coming professional boxer who will be competing in this year's games. You may have noticed him fighting in the recent Canelo Saunders undercard. Having already won two silver medals in the World Championships and Pan American Games in 2019, Davis will be hoping to go one step further in Tokyo by bringing back gold before concentrating on his professional career. He will be competing in the lightweight division and is definitely an exciting one to watch. <laughs> Number 3. Paolo Alcuso, Team Australia Alcuso is one of Australia's best up and coming amateur boxers who will be competing in the light heavyweight division in Tokyo. He started boxing only at 18 and now finds himself being one of the favourites to take gold in the light heavyweight division. The Aussie managed to beat the number 2 ranked fighter in the world to book his place last year to Tokyo, thus showing his incredible progression in such a short period of time. Number 4 Andy Cruz, Team Cuba as we all know, the Cubans produce some of the most talented boxers in the world. Andy Cruz certainly lives up to that stereotype as he approaches his first Olympics. Cruz at just 25 years old has already won two golds at the World Championships and two golds at the Pan American Games cementing his amateur status already. He is now fighting in the light welterweight category and will be one of the favourites to win that division in Tokyo. Number 5. Shakobayadin Zoryov, Team Uzbekistan The Uzbekistani boxer is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to amateur boxing. Fighting in the flyweight division, Zoryov has already won gold at the 2016 Olympics in Rio and gold in the World Championships in 2019. In 2019 Zoryov also made his professional debut, scoring a KO victory in the first minute of the opening round which I'm sure he will continue onto his career. Nevertheless, he's still very much invested in becoming Uzbekistan's first time Olympic champion before concentrating on his pro career. Number 6. Julio Cesar La Cruz, Team Cuba Julio Cesar La Cruz is one of Cuba's highest decorated amateur boxers competing at the Tokyo Olympics. With a very impressive record of 206 for 26, he is one of the most experienced fighters competing. Having already been the men's world boxing champion four times, he has also won gold at three Pan American Games and won gold in the last Olympics in Rio. It's really hard to see how anyone can stop him again in Tokyo. I'm intrigued to see if Cesar La Cruz faces Paolo Acuso who I mentioned earlier in the list, which could be a decider for gold. La Cruz is well known for his defensive skills and you'll definitely need to check him out this year. Number 7. Muslim Gadam Gomedov. Probably the hardest to say in this list is the Russian, but he is also one of the favourites in the heavyweight division, having already won gold at the World Championships and European Games. The Russian is very technical, has some great footwork and actually reminds me of the likes of Vladimir Klitschko in his boxing style. I can see him going quite far in this competition. Number 8. Pat McCormick Pat McCormick has to be another favourite to bring back a medal for Team GB this summer, 
with his impressive resume to date. So far to date, he has won silver in the World and European Championships, along with gold at the Commonwealth Games. He will be competing in the welterweight division and I'm very much looking forward to see if he can add another gold, especially with his brilliant skill set. Number 9. Bakodir Jalilov, Team Uzbekistan. Jalilov will be returning with a vengeance to try and win a medal this time after failing to do so at the 2016 Rio Olympics. The Uzbekistani won gold at the last World Championships and having turned professional after the last Olympics, he does have professional experience now going to Tokyo. From watching some of his fights in the zone, the guy is a beast. Standing at 6 foot 7 and being a southpaw makes him a very tricky customer for anyone, as you can see in this clip against Torres. Number 10, Oleksandr Kuzniak, Team Ukraine. Being from Ukraine, Kuzniak has been touted as the new Vasil Lomachenko, especially when you look at his impressive amateur record to date, 107 for 13 by the age of 25. And this time he has gone on to win gold medals at the 2017 World Championships, European Championships and also 2019 European Games. Competing in the middleweight division, I expect the Ukrainian to put down his mark in the Olympics with his impressive skills and pressure fighting. But there is one contender who will want to spoil the party. Umar Marcial, Team Philippines Filipino Umar Marcial is in fact already professional, having competed in his first pro fight under the PBC banner in December. Competing in the middleweight division, his southpaw stance is a hassle for many opponents, much like his fellow inspiration of Manny Pacquiao. He looks to land power punches, so is definitely one to look out for in this Olympics. In terms of his amateur career, he has won three golds at the Southeast Asian Games and a silver in the 2019 World Championships. He will no doubt be one of the favourites to get to the final, no doubt against Kruzniak. Hope you enjoyed this video guys and um, give you some insight into some of the boxers fighting at this year's Tokyo Olympics. It will take place between July 24th and the 8th of August so make sure to look out for some of these names throughout that period. So just a thing to note is that professionals are allowed to compete in this year's competition. They didn't win any in Rio but I expect that to change especially after some of the amateur guys have turned professional now so I expect them to maybe win a medal maybe the likes of Zoriov or someone like that and yeah I hope it gives you some insight on some of the boxers to look out for personally I'm quite looking forward to watch Akuzo and De La Cruz I think that could potentially be the final of the light heavyweight division and um, that's kind of my weight category so that's the, the one I'm looking out for but yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video um, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.